What is up guys, welcome to another episode of IGCSE Biology Revision. Today we're going to be finishing off our previous topic, plant nutrition. Now we're going to be looking at um, how to experimentally determine the necessity of these three factors in photosynthesis, chlorophyll, light, and carbon dioxide. Uh, but before anything else, okay, if you wanted to determine whether a plant um, went through photosynthesis, how would you determine that? How would you test for it? And um, we talked about the fact that glucose is made in photosynthesis and that glucose makes starch and starch is how plants store their glucose or sugar. Okay, So starch is stored in the leaves of a plant. Now if you were to try to determine whether a, um, a plant uh, did photosynthesis over a certain period of time, all you really need to do is test uh, for starch in the leaves of that plant. Because if starch is present, then uh, that would mean that the plant um, was undergoing photosynthesis during that period of time. Okay, given that you uh, made sure that you de-starched the plant uh, beforehand, but we'll go we'll go through that later. So, but. It's not really a matter of just dropping those iodine drops onto the leaf because it does not work that way. So there are certain steps that you need to follow. First of all, you take the leaf and you boil it in water. Okay, you do that to make the leaf permeable. If not, then even if you drop the the iodine solution onto the leaf, it's not gonna sink through, and um, because it won't get absorbed, you won't get any results. Okay, so first you boil the leaf in the water, then you boil the leaf in ethanol, and ethanol dissolves chlorophyll so it makes it easier to tell apart uh, a positive and a negative test result when you add the starch in. Okay, so you then rinse it with water just to make sure that um, it's not too stiff or anything like that, and then you finally add the iodine solution to the leaf, and of course, as we've covered in our previous uh, video, if it turns black, if the color turns from a uh, yellowish kind of brownish solution to a black color, then that means starch is present. So let's begin with chlorophyll. Now, to test for the necessity of chlorophyll, in photosynthesis, first of all, you need to find a plant that has variegated leaves. Now, what variegated leaves means is that some leaves or some leaves of a plant uh, have leaves that have uh, various colors in them. Okay, so like looking at that example to the right there, we've got a uh, a leaf with a green color on the outer parts of the leaf and inside where the veins lie, uh, you, you see that it's uh, it's not as green, it's actually quite pale. Okay, so that means that the leaf contains chlorophyll in some areas but not in others and that's determined by how green the leaf is. And now if you, if you look at that example, we've got uh, the outer parts of the leaf that contains chlorophyll because it's green and you've got the middle part of the leaf that does not. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do is de-starch the plant, and you do that by leaving it in complete darkness for 48 hours. Now that, we call that de-starching because during that 48 hours where the plant can't get any light when it's lying in complete darkness, uh, photosynthesis isn't going to be uh, happening, and when that's not happening, uh, the plant isn't going to make any more starch, but because the plant needs to survive, uh, what they're going to do is use up their remaining uh, storage of starch that are already present in the leaf. And uh, to the point when you get up to 48 hours, they've pretty much already used all their storages of starch in their leaves and they probably won't have any more starch left. Now, that's what we call de-starching and then you expose the sun, uh, expose the plant in sunlight uh, for a couple days and then you do the starch test on one of the leaves as we talked about previously following these steps. So uh, the results are only areas that had originally contained the green color uh, which meant that it contained chlorophyll turned black from the iodine solution. This is a positive result. Now the white areas uh, did not turn black and this meant that starch was not made uh, in those areas and photosynthesis did not occur in those areas meaning you need chlorophyll in order for photosynthesis to work. Next up is light. Now, first of all, once again, you want to de-starch the plant by leaving it in uh, darkness for 48 hours, and uh, you want to do a starch test on one of its leaves just to make sure that the 
plant was completely destarched. Okay. Now, fixate a strip of paper okay, onto one of the leaves of the plant like so. Now that black uh, paper, there you can see that on the image. Now expose the plant in sunlight for a couple of days. Okay. Now take that leaf, that leaf that you put the, uh, the, the strip of paper onto, um, and you want to do a starch test on it. Of course, you take off the paper and then you do the starch test. Now, the areas that were not covered by the paper, so the one, the area of the leaf that was exposed to the sunlight gave a positive test result. The areas that were covered by the paper gave a negative test result, uh, meaning starch was only made in the areas where uh, the leaf was exposed to the light. If not, photosynthesis could not happen and starch was not made. So uh, the diagram to the bottom right of the screen, that, that's how it would look like um, if you did this experiment. And finally, carbon dioxide. Now this one's, um, this one's fairly simple. Now you've got two different diagrams here and uh, the boxes represent a, uh, a jar, okay, a glass jar. Now what you want to do is, you want to seal up the jar and uh, in one jar you put a plant um, and in the other you also put the same type of plant and then you de-starch the plant first. Okay, so first of all, you de-starch both the plants and uh, by keeping it in darkness for 48 hours and then you put them in a gas jar and in one jar you have sodium bicarbonate on the other jar you have sodium hydroxide. Now sodium bicarbonate makes carbon dioxide. Sodium hydroxide absorbs carbon dioxide. Alright, so what would happen is uh, once you once you did the starch test on both the leaves on each respective plant, and the plant on the right will give you a negative starch test or a negative starch test result because the sodium hydroxide had kind of absorbed all the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere within the jar and uh, could not be used for photosynthesis in the plant. So um, you'll get a negative result. Whereas uh, the plant on the left you'll get a positive result because sodium bicarbonate constantly makes carbon dioxide that the plant can use uh, for photosynthesis and produce starch. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you have any questions just ask in the comments below and good luck!